will the plasma car be available to purchase in the next few years? And if so, would it be manufactured by collaborating with existing companies in the car industry? We have, uh, um, not we have, uh, Mr. Moss of Tesla is invited to London Conference. He'll be invited to London Conference. We especially, specifically have targeted him to our promoters, and they have their own ways of accessing him because they're American instructor. Um, Chinese car manufacturers are aware of this technology. We've been offered percentage of the car production, but we don't want to go to the electric car. We want to prepare companies like Tesla and the Chinese operations to go into what we call a flight system. No levitation. Last night in the meeting with some of the high-ranking people, we were talking about this, that we, he said we didn't have levitation, you have the mechanical. I said, this American Marine in 1975. Now you have to do it with the plasma. Now you don't use any energy. And it's inevitable. In next two years, Keshe Foundation will start selling. We have to complete cycle of our work in China. And I'll be spending more and more in, uh, in China as the development takes place. And uh, our target is uh, parallel development, space technology, defense technology, and public uh, use of the technology where we can reach, we can actually make difference. But you have to understand this nation is the most conservative nation in the world. Everything has to be step by step, step by step. And we're taking, we understand their work now, so we take our time. But 24, 25, 26, to see the first systems who use Magrav technology uh, in China is not far reach. We're trying to show it very soon, but in mass production, it'll come in. electric cars are obsolete. You, uh, uh, November is coming up, 26th of November 2011, we were prepared to show it in Eindhoven. Um, 12 years later, we will most probably showing it to you in Beijing conference. Because once it's shown, the, the technology is shown, Replicating it in such a simple way is a mass production. Okay. Levitation by magnets um, was shown practically going to the internet you find in 1975. American Marines showed how they can, but creating positions and other science have shown it. But through plasma technology, which doesn't need any energy, is a different way, and you will see this. It'll be very simple. I mean, it's the simplicity of it is amazing because we should have allowed to show this in 2023, in, in, in 20, what do you call it, 11, in Eindhoven. The way it works is very simple. Um, I'm just waiting for the whiteboard to come up for you to understand. Well, maybe soon we'll then have changed this rubbish. You have a you have a vehicle and you have the road. Present technology today puts a vehicle on a, what you call a very good 1950s cars. Now it's more sophisticated, but it's the same principle. It puts the car on shock absorbers. And if you look at the top view of this car, you have what they call the cage, human cage inside. You have four shock absorbers in the system. Um, we play is the shock absorbers, the same structure as always with the macro system, which means we can lift the car in four corners. There's a central control in here, which decides 
what fields ratio will change that you turn left or right. The work we did with the scientists at Ghent University years ago, and the work they done in that way, shows 200 kilogram, five centimeter maximum, is safe and acceptable by elderly. And by people who have the fear of whatever, because you have to carry, you can't have a levitation cars and then ordinary cars in the same manner. You have to change gradually, but it has to be done. So you literally place a four micrograph system on either side. The speed of the running it is very simple. These micrograph system create enough energy. Don't forget my when you are five centimeter or even one centimeter off the ground, you're a feather. Literally, two hair dryers can dictate your speed, if you look at it that way, but it's more complicated. The same way as we see in, um, what do you call it? Ships. We have winds which then blow which way and to what the speed you can go. Left, right, you went to do it the way or the speed, the reverse is the same. This is the simplest way to get these things on the road immediately. More complicated, more advanced system will come in the future, which these vents are not needed. And then, because you create a magnetic field, and this magnetic field on its own has create a zone of star formation, if you see it, this has a center of effect, which has an emotion, which will have an emotion, you will understand it in a time to come. So, if you have a child crossing as a soul, we'll avoid it. In a bigger way, mechanical way, if you have another car with the same shock absorber next to you, they avoid each other. The process of accident becomes very really rare. And this is how the process will carry on. And this, making these reactors cost less than $10. And uh, once you fuel them to run, uh, they will run for decades. So it's not uh, far fetched it's literally on our tail. It's just that and then, uh, what do the government uh, uh, have to decide how these are implemented? And how they will um, they bring these things into operation? It will change a lot, it will bring uh, new dimensions. Um, the cost of manufacturing of cars will drop by maybe as much as 80%. Because it's just what you furniture inside. You can get a wooden cardboard and put it on it and you still go the same. And uh, the pollution will come to more or less to zero. Um, the accident rates will reduce drastically and uh, it's a transition of accepting and what to do. Um, the, on the back of this will come the shipping, which in a way, if you look at it, you still want to uh, ship a car container from China to let's say US, you don't need to have the ship actually sitting on the water. You can create a levitation that is still uses a free path for it and goes. Once you create that lift, doesn't matter if you're one kilo or one ton, it doesn't make any difference. It will not make any difference. A lot of things will change with this uh, development, this technology. We have the system. It's just that step in time, 24, 20, 25, 26, we see time for this to come. And then there is huge, huge investments, billions 
of dollars which now has gone into producing batteries for electric cars. These electric cars need continuous charging, wasted batteries, replacing batteries, and all this goes through the window. And um, uh, we actually working on to show this in one of the um, conferences. Weight reduction system, what was supposed to be shown in um, Eindhoven. And then you understand what this will implement and the implication of it and the application of it.